Recording. Okay, this is how to debone a pike without miss losing a lot of a lot of meat. You make your cut, go down the belly, go around those fins, and then back down to the center to the vent. Okay, and then you knock your fillet off. Just oops, like any other one. Following the backbone, okay, and the same thing here. Knock that fill it off. You might have to make that little cut there to get yourself around that fin. My knife is dull as shit too, so. Okay. Now, you continue on and cut that fin out here. God, this is my first time doing this. Okay. Okay, so now you've got just your regular run of the mill fillets. Now you cut the ribs out. Okay, get your ribs out of there now. We got a couple right here I missed. We should have done five or six first so I get a handle on these again. Okay. Then you skin it. Okay, now this is the part where you make it boneless. Right here at the end of the tail, just behind the vent, you make your cut there. Okay, that part's boneless. Now you take it, belly side to your right, back to your left. You're going to see there's two lines of bones. That's the Y bones. Okay, they look like that, and what you're seeing is the two tips of those bones. Now what you do is underneath the bottom line, the one on your right hand side, and you cut in at an angle, a sharp angle up from here up to here. Right underneath that line. God, is this guy slimy. That's better now. Okay, I cleaned him up a little, get the slime off so I can hold him. Okay, so you make that cut really sharp up, like so. Okay. That part is boneless. Now you have this part. So you have one line of bones there, and then you can feel with your finger these little white dots there. That's your second line of bones. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut down till your knife touches the bone, and then slice sideways. It's kind of a weird angle, but just cut down. You'll feel the knife tickling the bones. finger in there and then you just cut off of the bone and it just takes a little bit of practice and there's your back meat, completely boneless. And there is your small strip of Y bones. And you have the two ends of the Y here and the one end down here. And you can actually physically see the bones. I don't know how well it's going to come through on the camera, but you can see all those white things. That's the bones. That's the chunk of bone. And 
And that's what it looks like after. Three pieces, boneless meat.